Welcome back to the podcast uh, where we are now in the blow up breakdown. Uh, this is where we highlight uh, one of uh, the guest's biggest posts ever and talk about the process and making it. Uh, we're checking out uh, Snappy, uh, Snappy Burger, uh, which is one of Lindsay's biggest posts ever. Such a cool uh, setup with the food and the drive through and all that. And we're going to check out the video right now. But I can't tell you what that is. If you end up going, let them know the Las Vegas foodie sent you. And who knows, you might get something for free too. Enjoy. Whoa, Lindsay, what are you doing? We're going to see a movie. That's what we're doing. And it's the cutest date spot and a great family date spot. What also really stood out about this place was that it's very affordable. We got two cheeseburgers, two fries, a snappy ice, a Coke, and two candies for 22 bucks. Oh, and I forgot the best part. They actually show movies too for free. And if you're still wondering why we are wearing a robe and dark sunglasses, if you dress up like the Big Lebowski because that's the movie they were playing, you'll get something for free. But I can't tell you what that is. If you end up going, let them know the Las Vegas foodie sent you. And who knows, you might get something for free too. Enjoy. Whoa, Lindsay. All right, cool. So I love this on so many levels. Um, you went extra with you and, and Heather at Radio Heather. Uh, dressing up in, in and and going and <laughs> driving in the bathrobes and all that stuff. Um, what? How did you get inspired to to do it this way? So uh, actually, I met the owner of of this guy at Donut Bar downtown. Shout out to Donut Bar. I love them. Uh, Chef Chef Jeff and Chef Joey down there. Um, I was talking to them because I had gone down there, and he goes let me call this guy, John, have him come over. And he, John owns Snappy Burger. So he, John comes over and he's explaining the concept to me. And I'm thinking, this is so cool. And he tells me how, you know, they got the ribbon cutting from the mayor. They did a few things that had only been open six months at the time. And he goes, tonight, come tonight. And I'm thinking, I can't come tonight. Like I'm busy. And he goes, no, come tonight. And if you show up in a bathrobe from the big Lebowski, cause that's the movie that they were playing, then you get the, he gives you like a free, at the time it was like a free, like cut water or something. It was it was it was a good like free little thing, and so I was like, okay, let's just try it. So that's why I decided to do the robe. But I I felt like you know showing putting the robe on would be like a, an attention grabber. So that's why I thought to do that first, and then you know we kind of just went through the motions of of buying the burger and everything else. But the, I had a feeling that the post was going to do well just because there's a little bit more creative. Um, thinking behind it and I sort of just had a vision going in once I realized the process you order the food then you park and you watch a movie and th the craziest thing is that they they were just so packed for the the two weeks after that and Heather did post two that blew up also so both of our posted super well but he was so busy he told me that he says your followers or he said to me your followers are so crazy someone from San Diego drove up to go to Snappy Burger and then went home. Yes, what? <laughs> that's amazing. That's like a five hour drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's this is serious. Like the perfect quarantine place, yeah. That's awesome. And then, yeah, so you talk about the reaction to these videos. Um, it's basically overnight, right? And once it, once it blows up, it's very, it's it, the instant reaction, especially on TikTok now is kind of like what I, what Instagram was a year ago, two years ago, or, or maybe even greater now. I mean, do you feel like there's, there's more reaction now for TikTok? Yes. There's way yeah. more reaction over TikTok. I think, I think there's more people, there, people are definitely responding. They're going, they're going to go see, they're going to go check it out. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why TikTok has, a, like, in my opinion, more of an influence, but I love it. I mean, it's it's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> you can just blow yeah, up I a business overnight. Yeah, I think I think it's just because it's so easier to discover new accounts on for you and all that, and and you know you get the full screen on the phone. Plus, you know the the initial frames, the initial few seconds just grabs you into a video like this. Um, you know, everyone says yeah. the first three seconds are the most important of the post. I mean, do you do you feel that way too, or what do you think? Yes, of course. I think the cover photo is the most is number one, and then the first three seconds, right? 
Okay. Yeah. So what makes a good cover photo? Is it just like the action? Like, what are you, what are well, you looking for? Um, TikTok is a little different because I think the cover photo kind of moves a little bit, but um, right, does that like quick little boomerang. But a lot of times it's going to be, uh, what I found is that people want to see other people. So if I'm in the video, a lot of times it's better to have a kind of a photo of you, like I did with Amano, right? Like kind of going into the baguette. Yeah. Um, or like a crazy sauce cheese pour, right? Like that's a good video. In my opinion, something that's going to be like, what the heck is that? You know, but I don't even remember the cover photo for this. So I'm not sure what I did. I think it was you guys in the robes. I got to look again. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. I don't think so. No? I think it was okay. this. The snappy ice. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Amazing post. Thanks for sharing that. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that place is fun. He does different promos all the time. And I love that they're showing the Big Lebowski of all movies. Like, you know the owner's cool because they did that. And Oh, he on 420, they showed Cheech and Chong. And I don't know if I can say this on the podcast, but I don't see why not. But he, he cannot say what he's showing. The only way you can find out is if you text the word snappy to 474747. And then the movie schedule will, it'll send you the movie schedule. So you're opting in, but you, he oh. can't just say, I'm showing this. I'm going to lose his license that, if he does that. So it's, he really came up with a very creative concept to be able to show it. And that's why also why the movie has to be free, right? I guess. Yeah, you can't charge, right? Exactly. But oh, it's such a brilliant idea. And, and families, it's just like, what a fun place to go for a date night or, or just, you know, casual if you need to get out of the house. And I don't know, it's just genius in my opinion yeah yeah i definitely want to go 